Hey, it is Joel. This is Story Pipe. Pipe, pipe, pipe. Okay. From Sonia Verma in Jerusalem. The ABBA musical Mamma Mia could be the first casualty of a growing Israeli backlash against a proposed British academic boycott of Israeli universities. The British production, due to open in Tel Aviv in a few weeks, has been jeopardized by threats from local theater companies who refuse to stage it in retaliation over threats from the university and college union to boycott Israel for occupying Palestinian land. But the musical is only the beginning, says a group of Israeli politicians who drafted a law that could trigger a consumer boycott of an estimated 1.2 billion pounds of British imports sold in Israel every year. The British people should know. We are very disappointed in England, said Neil Schneller, an Israeli parliament member who helped to draft the bill aimed at punishing Britain. Abel was contacted and had this to say. Should I laugh or should I cry? Israel, you are the visitors. Move on. The way old friends do. Your military has a bunch of super troopers, and in war, the winner takes it all. It's just a play. The name of the game is Money, Money, Money. The day before you came to Palestine, we would have staged the play just fine. Take a chance on me. Doing so is not admitting the king has lost his crown. Don't make Palestine your Waterloo. My play is under attack from all this nonsense. Get two for the price of one. If you won't leave Palestine, then keep it. And watch Mamma Mia. Why did it have to be me? I just write music. That's me. I hate feeling this situation slipping through my fingers. We are a rock and roll band. People need love. And we bring it. We are the man in the middle of this silly squabble. Please be like me. I let the music speak. I do. I do. I do. I do, I do. <laughs> Is there a hole in your soul? I'm gonna sing you my love song and things will be as good as new. It's a crazy world. Prepare for our arrival and then we leave. Another town, another train. Bang a boomerang. <laughs>